and welcome back to our channel. In our video today, we have three really simple DIYs that all have lavender in them. We're participating today in the Bloom with Creativity Challenge hosted by Freckled Mom and Teresa B. DIY. So stay tuned and let's get started with our DIYs. So I'm gonna start with my bee bucket. I purchased this metal type bucket with the twine on it from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna use the stencil here. I'm gonna tape the stencil onto the bucket. I'm just using some scotch tape here to tape my stencil down. And then I'm gonna use, I wanted a color similar to honey, kind of a golden color without the metallic. That's the color that I'm gonna to use to stencil the bee onto the bucket. And I'm gonna use a stencil brush that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, and less is more when you're stenciling, so you do not need a lot of paint. And I'm pushing down on the stencil too. I'm holding it real tight to make sure that, try to prevent any of the paint from bleeding through. If any of the paint, when you take the stencil off, if you do see any of it bled through, I just took a little Q-tip, uh, moistened it, got a little bit wet, and just wiped around um, anywhere that it kind of smudged or smeared. And I'm just gonna fill my bee bucket with some lavender. I purchased two different types of lavender from Walmart. This is a little bit smaller clump or bunch. I split that in half from Walmart and I think that was about $1.50 and then I purchased the big bunch here and this was about $3. And I'm using the big bunch there and the other DIY too. So that is what was left over. I filled it up my bucket with what was left. My next DIY, I just purchased this frame from the Dollar Tree, and this is actually the front of the frame, the silver side, and the black is the back, but I'm gonna use the back as the side that I'm going to glue the glass into. And the first thing I did is just remove these little holders, and you can pull these out with your fingers, or you can use a pair of pliers, they'll pop right out. And then I'm gonna use some heirloom white spray paint, and I'm painting that black side or the back side, the heirloom white. And I'm using some E6000 glue and just going real lightly around the all four corners of my glass to attach it to the frame. And again, I'm using the back side of the frame as the side that I painted. So this is the green paint that I'm gonna use for the stem of the lavender, and I'm just using a real fine tip brush that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, just making a straight line for the stem on the lavender, and then I bought two sh different shades of light purples that I'm gonna use for the lavender, and then I have a darker shade of purple, and I'll list that down in the description box that I just um, kinda shaded or did some contrast with the really dark purple, but these are the two light shades that I'm using for the lavender. For the lavender for the flower part i'm just making some little lines just one straight line and then two little lines out from that so these are just really fast quick strokes anyone can do this very simple and then i'm just adding some leaves onto the stem and then i'm going to start a second lavender bunch on the left side and then I'm going to add one to the right side. And I think you can see there when I hold it up really close the dark purple there where I added a little bit of shading. I bought these stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're silver but I used a purple sharpie to color those and allow those to dry and I'm going to put the word faith onto my picture. I got the word or the stickers on there I just took a little piece of twine and 
Tata bow and use the E6000 glue and glue that around the bunch of the lavender. This is a really cute, sweet sign. I'll just have it leaned up there on the wall to show you. So for my last DIY, I'm just using one of these wreaths I purchased from the Dollar Tree. They come in a two pack. I think they're around a nine to 12 inch wreath. This is the larger one that's in the pack. And then I'm using some of that big bunch of lavender. It comes like this from Walmart. And I think it was about $3 or $3.50. And I'm just clipping some of those pieces. I'm gonna use nine pieces out of this bunch and I'm cutting them different sizes, a few short ones, a few medium ones, and then a couple longer ones. And then I have some wider ribbon that I purchased from Walmart, and then I'm just tying this onto my wreath. And I tried to tie it right down at the bottom so there were not a lot of stem, or there's not a lot of stem on the other side of the bow. So here's all three of our DIYs. These were really fun, fast, simple DIYs for you to make that are budget friendly. Leave us a comment, let us know which one that you like the best. We really had a great time participating in the collaboration today. So we wanna say thank you to Teresa B DIY and Freckled Mom for hosting the challenge. Their information again is listed in our description box along with the playlist of the other crafters participating. So check out everyone that's on the playlist. If you're new to our channel, Southern G More Gals, we'd love to have you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We try to have new budget-friendly DIY videos out on Mondays. We also have a Springtime in the Smoky series that we're having out on Fridays, showing you our travels to the Western Mountains of North Carolina, so check those videos out. Like and subscribe our video today. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. We want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you all have a great day.